Good morning. So it's back to real life. I just brought Maggie's wedding dress to the dry cleaner. So my big important job is done. So today is my second hair appointment. So we're going more blonde. I want to be a very obvious blonde. We are going very slowly as to not kill my hair, but I want more and I want it all at once, but what can you do? So I'm going to head over there. I feel like people do this prep before a vacation. I had no time to do that. So last night I got waxed. Today I'm getting my hair done. Tomorrow I'll get a pedicure all after the fact of a vacation, but treat yourself. I'm in such a spending money mindset that I'm like, I might as well keep going and then absolutely stop for November. So we'll see how that works out. It is my favorite weekend of the year though. It's Halloween weekend. I have an invite for a party in Boston. And it's the party I went to in Boston last year. I had a blast. I kind of went in blind, like I only knew the host. I knew my friend Curtis from camp might show up. And he did, so I hung out with him. But for the most part, like, I'm pretty proud of myself, like, walked into a group of strangers and started talking to them. So I did well last time. Right now, I'm up in the air about going. I'm still having, like, the pressure in my ears. And do I want to drive three hours where I once again only know the hosts. On one hand, what else would I be doing with my night? I love Halloween. I had a great time last year. Like, why not go? On the other hand, driving the awkwardness of walking in. I don't know. Curtis might be there again this year. He's literally flying in from a trip today. So he's like, I'm going to see how I feel. So I'm like, I can't like have it all hanging on Curtis. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll go. We'll see, we'll see. Probably not, but like, I'd like to. But um, yeah, that's the plan for today. But yeah, up in the air about the party. Gonna go get my hair done. I feel I'm gonna walk out of the hair appointment being like, I gotta show this off, but do I wanna drive three hours? I don't know. All right, guys, if you thought I was happy the first time around with the hair, I am thrilled with the result this time. It is way more blonde, a very obvious blonde. She did the foils again, and then she went in and grabbed bigger chunks and like, I guess added more. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. I'm a very obvious blonde. This is exactly what I wanted. And we're still going to do a third round in December. This is the Courtney, and that's kind of what I wanted. So Courtney Miller, watch out. I'm coming for your bag. Um, the way she did my curls, though, I looked very Taryn Denise for a second though. They've kind of fallen, but I was like, I got the Taryn too, but I am so happy with this. Now it's coming to me. She was doing the bigger chunks out of the foils to lift the box dye red out of my hair, and it just looks so good. Um, Again, I should show this off tonight, but I made the executive decision. No Boston for me tonight. It's okay, I'll live, but um, I'll find something to do. Probably look at myself and do this all night. Okay, little change coming. This mattress is trash. It is like a couch cushion. So, Caitlin's moving. I got her old mattress, which I've slept on a few times when I dog sat, so a little switcheroo. It's from Amazon, it was $400. I was planning on buying the same one when I moved, but for now it'll be good to sleep on for the next, you know, two, three months. But this one, gotta go. This is also a queen size on a full size frame. So it's been hanging off my bed for a while. I haven't had a good night's sleep since I got this slash since I got Betty. So I don't know who's to blame. Look at that nine years of dust. Power saw. Does anyone want big sunglasses to shield your eyes? Don't go into the metal. You got it, yeah, very. There's a bolt right there. Okay. Mike Johnson. Should I start here? Yeah. Put, but, but stop. Put this against the. Uh... Ah. I never learned. It's okay. Well, I'll, I'll... Scoot your tush back, mister. Th thumb. 
Okay. There, and then the squeeze. <laughs> Okay, as you saw, we took some power tools to my old Ikea bed I've probably had. I've had that for like nine years, and before that, it was in my brother's room, so it was time. Oh my god, I'm so dirty from pulling it apart. Anyways, um, we're like midway through putting together the new bed. It's Caitlin's old bed, but the screws are missing, so we're like, do you have them? And she does, so at some point today, she's going to bring them over. But uh, this is what we're working with. Um, this is where my bed used to be. So my bed came out here. We're going to toy with the idea of having my bed here. I don't know about floor space. I would love, you know, more room for activities. Like 10 years ago, my bed was, oh my God, could you look at this mess? My bed was in this corner. It encroaches on my second closet a little bit, but I felt like that gave me the most floor room. I actually have a very big room. I just have a lot of furniture and a lot of stuff. So we'll see what's the best fit. But yeah, that's what we're up to today. Anything for me to avoid going to my other job, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, obviously cleaning needs to happen, but this is what we're working with. And yeah, I'm gonna move all that stuff. Okay, Betty does not walk on hardwood floor, so she would usually jump with all her might onto the bed. Can she make it two feet onto the carpet? We'll see. But I do feel like I have a good amount a floor space here once I clean up, especially. So I was worried about the filming area, but I think we've got a good amount of room here. I have so much stuff, like hoarder level stuff. Oh, I was like, let me film in the office because that's where I sit all day. And this blue light from my laptop is no joke. Ooh. So we'll come in here. Do you want to see this fire hazard that used to be my sister's room and is now where I just put Oh my clothes. Oh my God. You're going to be like, I'm calling the police. Okay. So relatively normal, you know, hanging rack. And then there's the bed. Oh my God. So this is my next project. Next time I have a free weekend. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and the sad part is me and my mom organized this like a month ago and it was fine. You could see a bed under here. Not anymore. But yeah, I just wanted to update you that I've been so busy. I had so many plans to vlog this weekend. Like, Caitlin ran the New York City Marathon. Then she had her birthday. Like, the works. But, like, we were so go, go, go that, like, picking up a camera, other than to, like, get the runners, like, it was just not happening. So Friday into Saturday, we had Maggie's twins. Maggie flew in from San Diego. Her best friend was getting married this weekend. The Lumineers played at the wedding because the groom was an original member of the Lumineers, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, having two-year-old twins sleeping over in my room during a time change and their time change from California to Jersey, we were up all night, but they are so cute. Layla has such a good vocabulary. Like they flew in and I'm like, Layla, were you on an airplane? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, did you fly the plane? And she goes, no, I was a customer. And like for a two year old to know that, like so cute. And then when Maggie came to pick them up, Layla's like, no, I love my family. Like she didn't want to leave. It was so cute, but I'll see them soon enough. And then race day, I took Aunt Mary and Aunt Kathy, who is Caitlin's mom. And Kathy flew in from LA. Um, I took them into the city, walked 30 blocks, 20 blocks <laughs> with my two aunts up to where Caitlin said to meet them. Caitlin is very type A and I love it. Um, she had an itinerary for us of where to get a drink, where to see her in the race. Um, but that bar was packed. So Caitlin's boyfriend found Black Tap, which I've always wanted to go to. It was one of those like crazy milkshake places. Um, so I got a crazy milkshake of course. And then we made our way over to the race and she wanted us to be at mile 25 because she's like, I know I'll be losing steam. I want like that like pump of energy the last mile. It was so inspirational watching everyone run. Like me and Courtney got the chills when we were approaching where to stand. Um, and I'm a very loud sports mom. Courtney's boyfriend is a very loud sports mom. Courtney is also a very loud sports mom. So a lot of the runners had like their name written on their shirt. So we'd be like, yeah, Michelle, like pumping them up. You got it right, get in there right But then I realized my voice is so condescending. Like, like I said, I'm like, yeah, Michelle, like one more mile. But like, it sounds like, come on, bitch, let's go. Even though like, I'm very supportive. That's just my voice. Woo! 
We had so much fun hyping everyone up. I would definitely go again as a spectator. You will never see me running a marathon, even though I did sign up for a 5K for the turkey trot. And then Caitlin got to us and it was so exciting. Cheering squad. Woo! And then she finished the race. She did it. And then we went home. She was <laughs> tired. Like we had plans to go out afterwards. No, we, we drove her home. So she did it though. That's all that matters. And she raised a ton of money for Comfort Zone Camp. The goal was 3,500. She raised $5,000. So she exceeded that goal and finished the New York City Marathon. Like she's on fire. And then it was her birthday. So we had tons of pizza the next day. <laughs> so yeah, that's what you missed on Glee. I've just been working like a dog, you know, on the weekdays and then doing that kind of stuff on the weekends. So I babysat last night. I got home around 2 a.m. It's 8.20 right now. My body woke me up at 6.30. So I essentially took a four and a half hour nap. Um, I'm doing a double at spin class today. Maybe I should have planned better, but... Christina is teaching 8.30 and like she's subbing and scheduling wise, I never really get to take Christina. So I'm like, I gotta, you know, go while I can. And then at 9.30, Jess is doing Avril Lavigne versus Alanis Morissette. And like, I can't say no to that. So I'm about to do a double on absolutely zero energy. At some point today, I'm gonna take a nap, I hope. Um, I have to work at my other job because in my head, I made a goal this month. I want to make a thousand extra dollars from my side hustles. And it would be pretty easy if I could actually get the motivation to show up to work. But I, I never have the motivation to do that. So today's a Saturday. I got to get in a good four or five hours of work there. And then I won another Broadway lottery. So I'll be going to the city um, around 630 um, I'm literally like just making the train once I get there, haul ass to the theater. So I don't think I have time for dinner, which is a good thing because then I won't be spending a ton of money. Um, but jam packed day tomorrow. I have nothing on deck. I'll probably still go to work, but I need to film a bunch. I have a bunch of like Black Friday holiday kind of stuff. I just haven't had the time to do anything. So that's what tomorrow's for, but I'm going to go hopefully not fall asleep on a bike. It is such a gorgeous day out. It's November and I'm walking around in a tank top. So I'm gonna try and get a walk in today. Um, I'm feeling amazing after two spin classes. Like that woke me up. I'll still probably take a nap. Hopefully find somewhere in my day to take a nap. Um, but I got in my car and then I was like, mm, there's a Marshalls over here. Let me putz around Marshalls. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Very restrained of me, I only bought hangers. Part of me is like, I'm not gonna buy any hangers. Like, I'm just gonna donate what I have and only have X amount of hangers, but I'm too lazy to rifle through my closet right now. So, more hangers it is. At some point, I will organize everything. So, I ended up at the mall, just cause I love the mall at Christmas time. I'm also standing next to Panera, so I'm probably gonna go. All right, I feel like I haven't been to the mall since Nam. Um, so I just wanted to see, well, f well, first of all, I just liked the mall at Christmas time, like Bath and Body Works smelled really good. The whole place was decked out. I love Macy's at Christmas. I haven't shopped at Macy's in a while, but I always enter through Macy's just to get the vibe. So I did some damage at Torrid. Torrid, you know, is hit and miss. It is hitting right now. So they have a really good holiday selection, really cute, like everyday work tops. That's what I picked up. Um, they had a really nice bomber jacket. I have no use for it, but it's velvet. I kept going back to it and petting it. Like it's really nice quilted jacket, a lot of shimmery, sparkly stuff for holiday, a really nice like blazer dress. Again, I have nowhere to go, but I was like, 
Ooh, baby. Um, also, it was really good quality. So again, Torrid is hitting it because we do go through some ebbs and flows with Torrid, but like we're on a high note right now. Then I went to Panera. I do still have those Chick-fil-A gift cards I got the last time I was at the mall. I just didn't want to go up the stairs. I am that lazy. So I went to Panera. I am a whore for Panera though. So I was happy about it. I got the green drink. I don't know what this is called, but this is my life. This is like, you know, I love an Arizona iced tea. You know, I love a pink drink. This tops all fun drinks. That's usually what sways me to go to Panera. I had um, French onion soup and a bread bowl, healthy. And then I got a brownie for the road and the bag of chips are in the Torrid bag. But I figured I could take those into the city with me. In lieu of dinner, I'll have Panera snacks. Um, I am exhausted. So it's like noon right now. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, nap, and then go to work from like two to six, hop on a train, go to the city. No walk for me today, but that's what tomorrow is for. I'll watch it like randomly snow tomorrow. But yeah, most of my weekends are packed. My weekdays are packed. So I'm just trying to get it all in while I can, but I need a nap first and foremost. All right, a little off schedule, but I made it to work. It's like four now. So I'll work for two hours, then head into the city. It's better than nothing. That nap took me out. With that new mattress from Caitlin, like I've been sleeping like a rock. So feeling a lot better. Also, I walked in to find Halloween candy and I'll be taking about half of this into the city with me. My teeth are falling out of my head. Anyways, I'm gonna see what I can get done in two hours, um, but at least I made it here. I made it into the city. I never told you what show I'm seeing. So it's Kimberly Akimbo. I'm sorry if it's so loud in here because it is so loud in here. Kimberly Akimbo, I don't know too much about the story. I'm kind of going in blind but this was a lottery win, so this is $45. My seats are in row C, but I think I'm all the way off to the side, but I think we should be good. such a cute show very heartwarming there was one actor who i knew of before seeing this and she absolutely stole the show bonnie milligan look her up like everyone was cackling every time she was on stage also there was a scene where they all ice skated on stage and i have no idea how they did that we were in the third row and the guy next to me even like popped up to look at like how they were doing that because like we could see their ice skates and not roller skates so i have no idea how they did that. Very cool though. Um, so my seats were actually very good. They were off to the side, but there were still two people to my left. So I wasn't completely like in a corner and I didn't feel like we missed anything on this side of the stage or anything. Like everything was kind of played in the middle. So for 45 bucks, you can't beat that. Um, there was a train delay on the way home. So it is now 1am once again. So I am going to pass out, maybe binge eat and then pass out, but no spin class for me tomorrow morning. So I can actually sleep in, watch me wake up at 6 a.m. But in my head, I can sleep in. Okay, so I don't think filming is gonna happen today, but I am organizing everything and this is a doozy. Okay, so this is just the stuff that's in and also just cleaning my room kind of stuff. So. I got Torrid Unique Vintage Cal Pack, Fashion Nova, Bloom Chic, Walmart, and I still have a Shein package on the way. So lots of hauls coming eventually. But I figured pre-filming, let me uh, tackle this and this. Will it ever be clean? No. Also, I got a new hamper, but it's very small. So I have to, and there's a shoe in there. There's a shoe in there. I have to do my laundry way more often, which is not a bad thing, but everything's a mess. Ooh, okay, so that's what I'm doing today. All right, cool ensemble by me, but after a thousand years, I finally cleaned my mirror, so feeling good, feeling productive. Still looks like hell exploded, but I'm working on it. Who is she? I got the top worked out. Gotta work on this, but uh, 
how soon before this becomes filled with junk. So the next order of business is this area. So I ordered a bunch more cubes. I think I'm gonna fill up pretty much every one. Um, like this is gonna be all sports bras. This is all sweatpants. I just did one last night that has all my hair bands, even though I did order a headband holder for now. All the headbands are in here. We're gonna do something about that, but I just want everything to have a place and to hide most of it and to have less clutter up top. I kinda did that <laughs> and then I remade it dirty. Um, up here I used to have a lot of beauty stuff. I have all my souvenir cups from Broadway up there. I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. They're holding all my liquid IV right now. And then I want the desk to be essentially just this and then a few like miscellaneous items, but like, I'd also like to keep this clear. That probably won't happen either. That is a catch-all. This is a catch-all, but I'm trying. But yeah, coming back to the desk, I would love for this area of my room to kind of be where I film. This is where I filmed my Torrid haul the other day. There's just like a good amount, sorry about the squeaky floorboards, a good amount of space here. Um, this is all for a video. So this is all my old CDs and Mary Kate and Ashley books. Um, I wanted to do like a nostalgia throwback video. Haven't had the time to do it, but like I have all the supplies. So like these would go back to my basement once that is filmed. So I would like to keep this nice, you know? I am loving the scene I painted here. I got that from Francesca's like a thousand years ago. And then this is my newest Rose Forever bouquet. I got this about a month ago, right before I left for San Diego. And I am so happy with this one. I love the dome. I do have yellow here, red here, pink on the other side of my room. Um, so I love the squares, but I am so in love with this dome shape. I think it goes so well in this corner. Also, the fact that it's a white box and not the black one, it's more contrast against the black desk that I painted myself because you can see a hole in there. Um, <laughs> but I just think this looks really nice. I think I want to do maybe a candle, probably a fake one because I don't want anything to, you know, go up in flames, but like a nice ambient light over here. Again, just to paint the picture that I have my life together until you see the rest of my room. But like, the corner, she's that bitch. Okay, circling back to Rose Forever. Like I said, I am so jazzed with this dome-shaped one. I have it right here, but also I was like, okay, my little makeup stand here. It was next to the TV. Like I said, I did clear that off and it was nice and clean for a while. I did have it up there too. So I feel like this shape looks so good in a lot of different places. So I think this is like the perfect decor piece, especially for a lazy girl like me. Like I'm never gonna water this. I can barely take care of myself. Do you think I'm gonna water plants? This will stay alive and well for over a year. My red ones are about three years old. The yellow ones are a year old. Like. You, it's kind of like set it and forget it. Just pop it somewhere cute and you don't have to touch it and they're gonna stay vibrant and alive. I am not a scientist, but I do know there is some kind of special oil in here that's keeping them alive. But literally anytime someone comes in my room, the roses are the first thing they notice. And then when I tell them they're real, they're in disbelief. So it's a very impressive home decor piece to have. But they also make a really great gift. So like I said, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, those are coming up. Wow, time is flying. Um, but these make a really great gift for your grandma, your mom, your mother-in-law, your girlfriend, literally anyone. As a single girl, getting these for myself makes me feel like someone cares and that someone is me. <laughs> um, but these are just so pretty. And like I said, they really make me feel like a put together person. Like having this here makes me feel like something's going right in my life. So if you wanted to get one for yourself or you wanna get one as a gift, I do have a discount code. It's ShannonM25 and that'll be $25 off your order. And like I said, these last over a year. So you're gonna get your cost per use. You're gonna get your money's worth because they'll last you a very long time. So yeah, all that to say, I feel like a bad bitch with that in my corner here. But anyways, my room is coming along. Once I declutter even more, make my bed, really put the final steps in organizing everything. I am so happy with how this turned out, but it is a big change. My room has been like this since 2013, so, and not a single change at all. So I feel like I've been very go, 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 diving back into work, doing the room, working the second job. So I'm definitely looking forward to Thanksgiving and calming down at least a little bit, but thank you so much for watching. And like I said, I will be blasting your ass with fashion content all week because that's Fashion Nova. 
back here I got some bloom chic I got Shein on the way I got a lot of stuff to show you so lots of videos if I can find the time I'm gonna find the time but lots of videos coming so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye I think you guys dimples are bleeding oh my god